Razo, he's a uh, new player since Smash 4. So you can only, like, uh, I'm Hip's been playing since, you know, Brawl days, maybe even longer than that. Uh, so, like, he has a lot of fundamentals, and, and it's just about time players are catching up. Nitro actually also uh, played a lot of PM in his day. He didn't play Smash 4 until the very end because he just didn't even have the console. So Yeah, like you heard his name around a little bit, but never yeah. did like the degree. And then near the end of Smash 4, he, like, he was really close to making PRs oh, and he was yeah. making upsets. And now he's made it on the PR. He's making the upsets with the Richter. Yeah, Richter, really a polarizing character, man. It's like people see the character and they're like, man, he's just spamming, but you can tell. Nitro, he's calculating in that back air, perfectly spaced. You are able to angle that downwards to get the punishes properly. Look at that pressure. God damn. So much, bro. Where do you go? It really feels like you can't do anything at times because of how long range the aerials that Richter has. They're, it, like, it's ridiculous. They're quick. They have so much reach. And you can angle them. Like, what? Like, Razo has these floats to get around the projectiles, but at the same time, you have to worry about when they come back. Oh, yeah, get that away from me. Oh, that was nice. I like that. But, yeah, like you said, just Richter is that polarizing character because literally, depending on the character he's playing against, he's either a great character or a terrible character. Right, yeah. It's it's all in the hands of the, of the user as well. But Peach, man, another great character. Uh, one that many will say is a top one material, and we've definitely seen a lot of great results with the character Razo right now not looking too hot down he's on not, his last stock. He's literally not able to get his peach conversion yeah. right now. It's, it's hard, dude. I mean, you lose that first stock against a Richter, and they're just you know they're gonna commit to that uh, commit to that non-committal gameplay. Yeah, they're literally <laughs> just gonna get time to set up. Didn't didn't these two play each other last? No, he Razo played someone else. He played T uh, three Dome. Mm. Oh right, last Wednesday night fights. You're right. Yeah, so, I do remember him playing against a Richter. All right, neutral air, not enough. Was that a stitch eye? It, didn't it get, looked like didn't it, but get quick snipe. Oh, there it is. Yeah, throwing that uh, turn up down. Whoa, he got rid of the dot eye. Yeah, getting he didn't need it. Yeah, throwing that turn up downward when uh, uh, characters are trying to tether it's so good because you never know if you need to tech, and then sometimes it'll just elicit like a bad reaction from someone, and a lot of the times it'll just kill you like it does to Richter. Oh, oh. yeah, I saw it, dude. He landed the axe, got him with the forward smash, that bubble cracked popped. his shield, and got him for it. Yeah, that bubble Crazy. popped. And dude, this player, Razo, I know a lot of you at home viewing right now are very familiar with both of these players, right? They're always making it to this upper echelon of the bracket week after week. But if you are new and you don't know, Razo has been multiple PRs since Smash, Smash 4. Four. And actually just came off a really great, like, seventh place finish at the uh, Thunder Smash oh, gaming yeah, event. Yeah, that was so hype so, to see him. Yeah, and he won $600, dude, for, for seventh place alone. That's crazy. That's a lot of money. <laughs> I know, right? That's amazing. But we got game number two. I do believe in Razo's ability to adapt here. He's definitely going to want to play a lot more patient and carefully on this first stock because that's critical. Like, once you take that first stock off of Richter, then you can just run away. Mm -hmm. Literally, like, just run away. <laughs> yeah, but once you have to approach Rick and, like, get oh through all God. the setups, it's just, it's jumping through hoops. Oh, that was such a good side beat. Speaking of jumping through hoops, you jump over the arc fire. Very, that was very so similar good. analogy right there. Uh, jumping into the last pe uh, part of the daisy parasol. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that even hit. All right, going for the little tilt counter, not not sure what he was trying to uh, to bait out there, but not gonna hit. Maybe um, the uh, I think that the, the uh, up B the dagger does hit. Or it's called an upper uh, uppercut, I think is just the name of the move or something like that. Um, but he's he's holding a dagger. That up special basically, I think it hit has a hit, it has a hitbox, oh, yeah. and he could counter it like as he's grabbing the ledge. Probably a free stock if anything. Yeah, I'm really curious if it will hit below the ledge, but you know we'll see sooner or later. Fourth throw, not gonna kill. Was it, her forward throw got weaker from Smash 4, didn't it? Forward throw? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but I, I wouldn't be surprised. Got it. Right, I'll just ask Raldo. Oh, oh, barely missing the punish. I know something got nerfed. Dash tag? Dash tag doesn't kill like as early or something? Or yeah, all? but I think the trade-off is that it works now. Yeah, that actually works. That's true. Right now, Raldo's still at such a high percentage, but... 
you know, he needs to take the stock or else it's going to be nothing. Dude, I, that's crazy. Imagine him getting his his bubble popped once again, too, dude. I, he's going to be like, I really did 180, 203% no. forward throws, not even a kill. Snipe, though. I do like that uh, Nitro offstage will throw out the cross and, like, make it a little harder to be edge guarded, but that was just not the time to do it. The cross had already left, and the turn was just right there, and he couldn't do anything about it. I really like what Razo is starting to do uh, in the moments that he's recognizing uh, that Nitro is throwing out the side special, the uh, cross. He's actually floating right above it, and he can beat out the cross hitbox with his own down air and possibly even reach over to Richter as well. Yeah, that was a, that was a really good thinking from Razo. Oh, okay. Send him back. Forward tilt. Oh, yep, F tilt again. Don't come out. Don't try to come on my stage. Oh, nice dash attack from Nitro. He's doing a really good job of controlling this left hand side. Going back to center stage. Oh Here's my the God. other F tilt, yo. Bro, Roz oh. is just trying to play right now. Oh, dude. Oh. He's not. A, he's not being allowed to play, man. Nitro. He's like, all right, you took one. Let me get mine. Like this is so suffocating. Like, come on, just let me back to center. And he's not letting it. But as I say, that unsafe dash tag. Yeah. Yeah, a really uh, risky play from Nitro there. He got back aired out of shield, which put him off stage, and that's exactly where Richter never wants to be. There's that F tilt, though. And yeah, that roll is Just not keep doing it, man. It's going to kill eventually. Definitely. And that roll is not a great uh, great idea from Razo. Just right into Richter's hands. That's what he wants to get you. Okay. I do appreciate the way uh, Nitro is playing right now. He is at a big deficit, but he knows the tools that he has at his disposal. He's just going to keep applying pressure with the projectiles, using the safe tilt and aerials to uh, apply some shield damage and possibly oh, get a setup. Again. Yep, and he's gone. So, so polarizing between a uh, Richter off stage because he could either live forever, or just you know, yeah. get hit a little bit, and then he can't do anything. Oh jeez. All right, what are you trying to do? <laughs> It's crazy. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, but I think we're gonna be living that. Yeah. This is gonna be scary. <laughs> I definitely was sweating if that uh, if I was there. Like, I don't know if this is gonna happen. Oh, I like the idea with the down air cover the neutral get up from Razo, but not gonna hit. Unsafe dash attack yet again, but he did not have the proper spacing that time. Crossed them up a little bit further. Wasn't able to get a punish. Nitro committing back to this uh, apply pressure, run back, F tilt in the opposite direction, just trying to keep the safe sp safe space. You know, such patient play coming in from both players. Razo knows that he can't get trapped on the ledge like he is right now against uh, against Richter. Oh yeah, man. They do, they both know the matchup, so they know exactly what they need to do and not do against these uh, toolkits. Ooh, nice catch. So scary. A yeah, B, man. not gonna kill. Town and City still real big. You, you, you never wanna just like be sitting in, in shield like that. I mean, sometimes you have to, but it's like you're always scared. Like, dude, if I like don't have an opportunity right here, I'm gonna get bopped. And that's a parry, one of the first, uh, one of the few parries we've seen so far, but that's definitely something that's gonna be useful in a matchup against uh, Richter. Especially since the uh, parry got buffed against uh, projectiles, you uh -huh. now, now have more frame advantage. That's so good. That was a, that was definitely a change a lot of people were asking for. Because a lot of times you would just say, why would you parry a projectile? Just right. go around it. You're just going to be stuck there. And it'd be, it was just such a feels bad moment. I like the get up attack. He knew he re-grabbed and Roz was going for a punish right there. I think he was going for like a down. Yeah, I think he was going for down tilt so he can get fair. Oh, like the kicks. All right, this is the last stock now. Razo, solid percent advantage right here, but anything can change at a moment's notice. I've turned up barely hitting uh, Nitro on his retreating. Ooh, quick, uh, quick flow cancel Nair coming out. Oh, kicks. Oh my gosh, such great recovery from Nitro. He knows the, the very limits of his character. Right, wow, that, that oh, pressure there, was insane. A, he's gone. <laughs> the turn up, bro. That pressure was insane. He did the flow cancel Nair immediately into grab. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just throw you right now. So there we have it, Razo putting himself on the board. We are now at one to one. This is winner semi, so we're going for a best of five, just as the previous set. Um, dude, I 
might even be another game five, honestly. Like I'd, we I'd had, be happy we to had see two it. players that were evenly matched in the last set. We have two players that are evenly matched in this set. Let's see what happens. Going over to what Battlefield Mementos, yeah. Uh, playing Aria the Soul. Oh, I wish it, I, we could hear it. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. that one's that, that. Oh, they're all they're all lit. All the songs. Are lit. Mm -hmm. But I like how Razo in game two he was slowing it down a lot more. He wasn't just rushing in and just trying to mm -hmm. brute force his way into uh, Richter. And that's when you take so much damage when you just blindly go in. He was calming it down. He was just taking the neutral nice and steady, doing his own thing while allowing Razo to, uh, Nitro to do his thing. Yeah, definitely. We got game number three here. A uh, little bit of a different scenery, battlefield, of course. Um, having the top platforms, maybe. Uh, I wonder what, what uh, Nitro is really thinking with going to the stage. Yeah, I think I think his thought pattern is he has all these platforms, and all of his moves will cover the platforms. That's true. So if Razo like, tries to retreat, he can actually cover just most of the platforms whenever. Safely, right? Because of that reach, you can just kind of like short hop, do an up air or back air, whatever, dude. Like, yeah. Well, I think it's a good pick for uh, for Nitro. So let's see how Razo adapts to it. Throws the turn up down, so scary. And then the other thing is that like. Um, you know, shield dropping through a platform is like pretty much non-existent with this game. So. Can you even do it still? I, I don't think you can. Yeah. It, it's either really hard or it's just not possible. Yeah, I know a lot of players were upset by that because shield dropping through platform was such a good, uh, such a good thing to do. Oh. <laughs> Sniping him from the very depths again. Razo doing what he needs to do, man. He understands the matchup. He's saying like, "Yo, you can do as much damage to me as you want." I'm gonna keep doing damage to you, but really all I need is to get you off stage and get that one turn up to get you off. And yeah, that's definitely, what you're doing. definitely telling Nitro to just eat his vegetables. <laughs> oh, I love Ooh, the parry on the parry nair. into the up tilt too. Oh, now oh, we got a Saturn. Saturn. But I'm not Saturn, sure how much play we're gonna get. Oh, and dude, he, he just, just ran off. What the did, hell? He didn't want to deal with it. <laughs> I thought those things walked back and forth. I didn't know they just ran off the stage like that. Ouch! I mean, oh, God, that hurt. Yeah, I didn't know. You know, the Saturns were just. Nope. Killed themselves. I think it's because Razo, he didn't even like try to use the, the the Saturn. He like didn't hold on for it for any amount of time. He just completely like threw it in the opposite direction. So the Saturn was like, you know what? I'm done. Yeah, like uh, you don't even want me. I don't want to be here. Like, Speaking of done, Razo might be done. As we were talking, he racked up a lot of percent, instantly evening things oh, back up. Way back to even now. This is where it's going to get okay. scary for Razo. I, I can see now he has like a lot more like ledge trapping options on this stage, especially at the uh, uh, with these right and left platforms. He can kind of do a short hop and do um, holy water onto the onto the platform to cover that. And then it's like, well, you can't land here now. I'm just going to punish your landing or your roll or your get up, whatever. Quick, quick shield for both of them. Uh, Rouse are gonna strike first. Wait, nice. oh, I think he missed his uh, yeah. the fair. Yeah, he did. I never really under. Oh, oh my god, god, dude, that did so much shield damage. Yeah, I think if he got the the very tip of that, would have been a done shield. So fortunate for Razo, almost getting a low conversion. You know what? He still is. Nice. I like that. The way he dropped down and floated just below the platform ensured that he was gonna be able to get a punish. Oh, calling him out right there, Razo. Also, I think he's finally understood how to play against Nitro. He's got so many kills from just him being off stage and saying, I know you're right here. Let me place the thing. Let me place this turn where I know you're going to be so I restrict that space. So you have to do that panic option. And that's the thing about like a character like Simon and Richter is that their game plan is pretty linear. Although it is very strong, like the, the, the strategy is very strong, like there's only so much that you can do that like eventually your opponent is going to start picking it apart and finding the holes in that gameplay so that's exactly what Raza's doing here and he's up 2-1 we're going right back to Memento's Battlefield yeah like you were saying just Richter's game uh, Richter's tools are so good but you don't have many other things and he got sniped Dang. no jump zero to death Raza's ready to move on yeah. let me let me fight Kanar <laughs> not having it but you know I'm not going to count out Nitro yet we've seen the damage output he's able to do uh, he's only taken, uh, Raz is only taking 26% right here. Nitro already on his uh, second stock. Yeah, already lapping him in percent. Oh, okay. Cool. Wow, Barely that had him. so much reach. What the hell? 
Yeah, Peaches or D Peach and Daisy, their counters are so interesting because they only have like two frames of invincibility, and then like once you hit it, it always does like I I believe it always does like twenty percent. Dude, they should make Toad and Toadette like an Ice Climber Echo Fighter. I'd play them. Like a, <laughs> like a Captain Toad or that'd yeah, cool. that'd be cool. Captain Toad and Toadette as as a yeah. I'm sure they have like similar tools, right? Like, actually, that'd be sick, dude. Nintendo, make it happen. Let's go, Sakurai. Honestly, I would be down for that. Like, like make it a bonus fighter, like Prana Plan. Yeah, another bonus fighter. As we're talking, man, Nitro already at 79%. He does have Razo in a position where he can get this KO. Ooh, but uh, it's uh, he's got to make it happen real quick. Oh, oh no! Holy water. Ooh. Unfortunately, the cross hit him back up. Dang, and Nitro knew where he was gonna be too. He tried to follow it up with that up air, but he was just outside of range. That would have been crucial for him. No, 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 time. I like how he oh, waited for the gone. cross to. Dang, son. Unfortunate. Yeah, he he waited for Richter or Nitro to throw out the cross. Just went right over, then slapped him in the face. Well, Luffy gonna be into the uh, into the holy water, but unfortunately not timed uh, correctly. Um, Razo living on borrowed time right now, and just as I say it, Nitro time lands on him with that aerial, takes that first stock. Still got a lot of work to do here, but... Uh, yeah, Nitro's definitely going to have to kick it up to an 11. Oh, yeah. to even, yeah, to even bring this back, he's going to have to kick it up, Yo, but... Okay, the wait, he, wait a minute, he might be doing something. He's super focused right now. Did he enter Ultra Instinct, already 80%. Oh, dang. You can KO. You can KO a peach right at this percent for sure. Yeah, one wrong get up option. Yeah. Speak of which, oh, yo, this, this is getting really scary for Razo. He still does have another stock, but the momentum you get from take, taking a whole stock, and not taking much percent, it's so it's so good. Getting a dot eyes, not gonna go below the platform. There's a backer from Nitro. Nitro playing really well right now, holding down the center stage. Just using the retreating uh, backward aerials and just giving himself the space that he needs. Snap of the axe, my Razo might be getting a little comfortable. He had a big lead, now I think he's uh, just letting Nitro do his thing, but to Nitro's, uh, to, to Nitro, he's doing so well. He's yeah. actually just capitalizing on everything. Keeping Razo, was keeping Razo at that, at the side of the stage so long. Oh, uh, no. B, not, didn't even hit him. Yeah. That was a really risky option. But you can see Nitro is starting to commit to uh, this game plan where he kind of backs, like applies some pressure on shield, backs up, throws an F tilt, just re maintains real safety in that uppercut right there, able to secure the stock. Nitro on the verge of a possible reverse three stock right here. I would love to see it, man, especially because... Oh, he's not. He's gone. Yeah. Oh, man. He even Dang. caught it. Unfortunate. I was trying to hype him up. Definitely. <laughs> Raza, uh, uh, right, Nitro, was, he's kind of turning up, kicking yeah. up. He was taking that back. He was, he found his uh, stride, but he was just he was a little too far gone. Yeah. Raza moving on to winners finals, uh, taking it three one. I'm not really sure why you're rolling up your controller. Are like, you playing, bud? Like where could you possibly think you're gonna go? You just won winner semis. Raza, where are you going? Oh, he's gonna uh, get water. Gonna get some water. I mean, you could have left your controller there. I mean, <laughs> you know, sometimes people just feel more comfortable taking their controllers. You're right. So now I probably would do the same thing. So it looks